Welcome to USL Live and to week three of season 23 in the Unified Skirmish League. I'm your host, Romulox, and the game tonight is between Anything to Win and Warhawks. This is a battle for the top-ranked position as we approach the midway point of season 23. And for that reason, it's our USL Live Match of the Week. For more information on the team's match statistics and how you can sign up to play in the Unified Skirmish League, we ask that you please visit uslzone.com. Joining me in the commentary booth for tonight's match, I'm privileged to welcome in Bowen. Welcome, my friend. What up? What up? Uh, this is the first matchup between the two top powerhouse squads of Season 23. Neither team has faced a truly legitimate challenger up to this point, although I will say the Paypigs versus ATW game we just saw was easily the closest challenge for ATW, although they were able to pull it out in a final victory of 34-22 to that honestly wasn't that close in the end. So this will be the crucible that tells us which team has the upper hand and who leaves this week with bragging rights until they meet again in week seven. This game is going to come down to leadership and a battle opening kills in a fight where every minute is going to matter. Bowen, give me your best crystal ball impression. Break down for me what you think we're about to witness. <laughs> this is going to be a little faster than the last game. I feel like the um, scores should be a little higher. Um, if it comes down to straight leadership, it's hard to get anything above ATW, but Warhawks with raw skill and their ability to overpower a lot of squads just in general uh, gives them a lot of advantages that that people don't really recognize a lot of times. Uh, they don't really have consistent leadership. They all kind of lead at the same time from what I've seen, um, but they, uh, they make up for that with their ability to really stay on track and just blow through people. Um, so I'm curious to see if they're able to do that with ATW. And this could, like I said, this could be a higher scoring match than the previous one. Um. I completely agree with a lot of that. I think Gift is the 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 biggest voice on the team, but I do think a lot of people otherwise get involved in in reporting in. Uh, Fairfax is very vocal. Cog is very vocal. Uh, you know, you, you definitely Ernie. So you're going to have four or five voices in there that are really chipping in a lot to make sure that everybody's aware of what's going on. Um, whereas on the other side, you got really sob making the calls, but a lot of chirping, as as Yosh just said in the post game commentary, a lot of chirping from other people to let them know. Kind of just the positions and everything, but Saab is definitely leading that crew, and there's no mistaking that. Um, what do you have for a final score here, if you can predict it, Bowen? You almost nailed the last one. Let's see if you get as close this time. <laughs> I'm going to call this one 45 to 30, anything to win. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna go, I think it's going to be, yeah, I could see it being, I'm going to say 42 32 ATW. I'm going nice. to put it at 10. You put it at 15. I think we both think ATW wins this one. I, th I don't know that it's... I don't know it's the biggest deal of a loss right now if Warhawks takes this loss. I think it's a, a good feeler um, for what's going to come in the future. And I definitely don't think we're playing on KS10 later in the in the postseason. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll have to see on that. But game's on right now, so let me go ahead and do these, these uh, rosters. For Warhawks, we have the best lineup you could have for them. Staley, Fairfax, Kaga, Rio, a.k.a. Legacy, Soul, Stavadine, Tactical, and The Gift. As I said, that is the top roster you can get for those guys. On the other side, you've got Colossal, Iso playing as God. Iron is back in this roster. Thank God for, uh, for Bowen on that for his poor yep. fantasy team. Leak. Nas, a.k.a. Mecca, Sav, Venom, and Yosh. So I would say the best roster you can support for ATW as well. This is going to be a game, boys. Yeah, I'm looking forward. I was looking forward to this one since the beginning of the week when we did our preview for it. So this was, this should be fun. Oh, we're already going to have Contact South. Everybody kind of did as predicted. I think uh, except for the four going above SL mid, we got ESO, Iron, Venom, and Colossal on a wide flank right now. Oh, um, man. Where is the... Yeah, Leak, Sav, and Nas. Look at how... So they're kind of betting that Warhawks are going to be tentative. Um, and they're actually getting all the way around them as a result. Yeah, Warhawks doesn't strike me as uh, 
that tentative of a squad, although they are being pretty passive right now. And that's going to lead them to get into some trouble in a minute. Soul is playing Ripper this time, which is interesting choice. Soul has been really, really good in the uh, in the preseason and a little bit here in the early weeks. Um, I'll be interested to see how the Ripper plays a factor here because, as everybody knows right now, it's a little bit OP. Oh, yeah. And Soul's been playing Ripper in a lot of SBs, and he's absolutely terrifying most times. Um, when he played with us, he struggled a bit, but we also don't really have the best ability to utilize rippers. Here comes so. Eric and Iron rounding the horn of weed. This is this is getting ready to happen. Sorry for the music. Oh, I didn't even hear it. Uh, Soul is for their fighting south. They're getting a little bit of pressure oh, south. Yes. Look at how masterful this is from ATW. They've got the, the setup. Gift gets caught out. Oh, no. ATW are in a killing field right now. I mean, this is a good fall by uh, by Warhawks here. They may get out with... I, I don't think Aerith Staley. and Soul get out. Oh, poor Staley. Oh, so close. Nope. Yep. Just can't make it. I knew that was... That, man, that's another ATW. I just the, the intensity of those streams. I'm not even sure Soul's getting out. I don't think no, he is. Not. Nope. He, yep. he almost took one with him, though. All right. Starting the game off 3 0. Let's see what the response from Warhawks is when you're up against the ropes. Yeah, I mean, getting only three losses on that battle, considering how perfect that push was, uh, that could have been a lot worse. Look at Eric so. chiming in in the chat. Hi, Gift, he says, yeah. as he kills him <laughs> in the South. Uh, you know, Gift is a little bit fuming after that one. Yeah, they, I mean, they lingered there for so long. That's that. I mean, yeah, that is a danger with ATW. If you if you sit in one spot, and yeah. you don't have vision, all the guys they will be buying. If you give them a chance to to recalibrate and reset, they're yeah, they're going to flank you. Yep. And I really like the South push uh, from Saab and his crew that that got the attention on them underneath controller. I think Warhawks was just like, it'd be insane for them to be that far behind us. Pretty much. Yeah, they were. I mean, they were watching the northwest side a bit, but they did not expect them to come from south. And we're doing it again. Uh, let's see where the rest of the HW squad is. Got three south, four north. Where's Venom? Bit of a push in the south side. Colossal fighting two inside. So they're outnumbered outside. Yeah, it's a four on three on the bottom. HW is backing off of that, actually. Bit of a reset for the <laughs> HW side here as they try to get some angles up. Tactical... Going to take some shots from Colossal. There's so many fights happening in so many different places, it's almost hard to keep track of the the spread yeah. here for both teams. Way more active than the last game. I fully yeah. totally expected this. <laughs> <laughs> Although five minutes in, it's only 3-0. You know, in the other yep. game, it was 1-0 at this time, so not a lot of difference. Valid. Yeah, true. There's been a lot more ammo used. Yeah. Leak's about to need ammo from Saab. Yeah, Mecha's backed up pretty far on the bottom. I'm wondering if he's low as well. Bit of a cheat up now from Warhawks. Saab is just by himself. Oh, Leak may have gone a little too far there. Tactical's down. Yep, there goes Leak. Saab going for Fairfax. Oh, Iron gets cut down. Yosh is fighting by himself. Let's see. Eric Ooh, and fact, Yosh is down. Colossal doesn't turn north with the rest of his team. Oh, yes. Mecha and Saab trying to take as many as they possibly can. Looks like they're going to get Staley, too. Yep. And I've Mecha seen this run before from Saab and yeah. Mecha. <laughs> I feel like I just saw it. They just have mercy with them now. 
Yeah, there they go. And Leak joins them. They're going to be able to hold that door rejoin. if they retreat. Yep. Yep. Leak is maybe that's a good law. Oh, but they didn't follow it in. Yeah, a little short. Yep. And that was a good call by uh, Warhawks to back off there because their, their respawn was coming. Warhawks responded appropriately. Seven to six. ATW is still in the lead, but only by one now. And I think momentum has shifted. Yep. Net gain of two there by Warhawks. That's solid. Great play. And again, brute force. Like there was nothing really fancy about that that play. Mm -hmm. They just brute forced it. Just need to shake off the nervousness and a, and a little bit of the rust. As, as I was saying, the ATW just finished playing the game, so they're warmed up. Yeah. Um, Warhawks, on the other hand, trying to find their, their groove, just like Stella. <laughs> and I mean, uh-oh. Oh, uh, there's a few too many south, I think, here for Warhawks. We'll see. Uh, yeah, Ernie's going to get pushed. How long can he hold him? Tactical survives so far. Oh, what a law. Oh, <laughs> this is a good pinch, except that Staley and Gift are going down. Sorry for the silence there for a minute. My kid oh, you're fine. You're fine. This is an intense <laughs> fight. I'm, I'm just watching it play out as the South team doesn't have a medic. Stav, Jason is keeping them alive on the north side. It's six on seven. Six on six. Yeah, Iron eating a bit of a stream there. They're yep. doing a good job of putting some fire on the right. That guys. Ripper just makes you makes you recalibrate everything. Yep. And Stab is sticking to him too. That's that's the ideal part. Is getting, uh, raising the oh, oh here man. comes the Yosh flake the from back. Yosh in the top. Oh, oh wow! That what a brutal. big turn! As soon as he appeared, they just all died immediately. Yosh flank. What a big moment. And Warhawks will respond, and it is now fifteen to nine. ATW shifted back in their favor. Yeah, no, great play. Kaga is on top right now, four to one, four and one. It's a good reminder to count the numbers, even for the elite squads. Oh yeah. Soul says I'm zero and two so far. <laughs> having, a, <laughs> having a good start from the Ripper position. This class sucks. Petition to buff Ripper, Kaga says. <laughs> he did take like 400 damage. That's valid. <laughs> Traditional play here from Warhawks. We got a team north of, uh, what do you call it, Mesa, I guess, and then south. USL mid. Ron, I'm here for one second. I got to make a quick oh, you're good. phone call. To my, yeah, one sec. Uh, we got ATW South mid and where I miss a team and South controller. Pretty big, a bit of a spread here for ATW. Um, yeah, Warhawks. Adjust and go north. They know they've got Venom in mid, but he's an AT. He can get out. ATW sweeps wide left. Going towards Warhawk spawn. Underneath SL mid and through SL mid as Mecha goes. Uh, we may have some contact in SL mid here. Oh, no, Mecca didn't go all the way through. Did he see? He can't. Yeah, he could see Hawks going up top, I think. He's still watching right, though. Oh, man. Sov and Leak about to get an ambush in their own ambush. No yeah. way Leak survived that. No yeah, way. No reason for that. You may not now. Oh, man. He's still alive. He's I still do alive. not understand. But Sov goes down in the process. He, he does. There goes Leak. 
Leak, Leak on his ninth life. He is a literal cat. <laughs> he ate everything. <laughs> Two laws came in on top of the Middle East there, I saw. Gift gets the wide south flank. And Fairfax Tactical and Staley pushing up top. They're wanting Colossal. And again, this fall by ATW is is absolutely great. Really good, yeah. 15 to 11. Uh, ATW keeps those deaths under control as they reset, recalibrate. Oh, no. Mecca's still taking shots, though. Yeah, whole south side there. There's actually a bad angle on this. They might get... Warhawks might get pulled into a wedge a bit, but... That Ripper from Seoul is going to... Yeah, putting pressure on the North group. Iron and Mecha eating some shots. Oh, no, Mecha is low. He may... Yeah, Mecha's going to sacrifice. Oh, Iron, oh, but yeah, Iron yeah, goes Iron down instead. All that. Oh, Mecha oh, takes Kaga! Man. Yeah, that stream up from, from Gift on top of Iron was... He didn't miss a shot. Like, 16 to 13. Uh, I think I, I think that's a situation that Kaga doesn't have to die there, so that's a little bit sad. Um, yeah, it was. He was got a little greedy, I feel like, on that, but... 17 minutes remaining in this game. 16 to 13. Uh, Splitter, are you here? Yep, I'm here. You're like more than welcome to join us. Trouble. Sorry, I came a little late. No, you're very fine. This has uh, been a pretty intense game so far. Pretty yep. even, I would say. Really, the momentum has switched back and forth. Started with ATW, switched to Warhawks. Then it went back to ATW. I think we're seeing uh, Warhawks steal it back right now. Fairfax, Staley, and Tactical holding south mid-door as everybody just keeps their positions. What do you see so yep. far, Split? This looks like a stalemate position right here. Yeah, I mean, great recovery by HW on this on this whole play. I mean, they uh, any other squad would have it's been. It's gonna be broken area. through here at South Mid. Yep. That South Mid area is the the danger area. Oh, oh leak! I missed that death. Yeah, oh, he was all right the way through. in mid. Yeah. Okay. Here comes the push. I'm kind of surprised they didn't let a little peek out east on that side, but well, kind of respecting the, uh, the side there. It's tough for ATW to reset here because they just got this little skinny lane to move north uh, right outside the baselines. Um, yeah, and Mecha's theoretically like stuck there, but Warhawks is kind of backed off. Here they go. They got their reset. ESO's going far north. He's covering that flank position. May end up being a flanker himself here in a moment. This is this this is the kind of moment you want Iso to shine in too. Yep. Yeah, looks Iso like and Soul are the guys here, right? Sorry, it's funny. Looks like they're gonna go through East Med. No, actually, it looks like an ambush nonetheless for Soft's team. You got another stalemate position. Yoshin Ooh, trouble soul, here on oh, the soul. south. So overcommitted and Kaga overcommitted as well. Oh, this South team looks like they're. Oh, oh man, Yosh is so low, though. They are in trouble when they're pushing in there. Yeah, that's a terrible. Oh, play. there it is. There it is. Yeah. The, the, they're just one for the flank. Oh, Rio takes a direct nade. Everybody's tagging the Ripper. Congrats to Yosh on staying alive. That looked tough. What a law. What a law. That oh, would have landed man. right on his face if he wasn't already dead from Eric. <laughs> and there wow. goes Ernie. What a turn for ATW here. That was, that was a brilliant push down the road by Soft's team. It was. Yeah, perfectly timed. And, and the other side of that coin, like I feel like Warhawks was just a little over aggressive and just wanting that south side too much. 14. Kind of ran right into it. 14 minutes remaining, half the game to go, but it is 23 to 15. Uh, and <laughs> this game has been ping-ponging back and forth. And yet again, we see ATW uh, surging ahead to take the lead and a, and a firm command of this game yet again. Warhawks go right back to weed, right back in those same spots.
Nice spread here from ATW. I'm missing numbers. Okay, we got a team south that's kind of just keeping hidden right now. ESO, Mecha, and Iron. Warhawks have a few guys in SL mid that look like they're working their way through. Kaga just keeping his position while Eric keeps him checked. Once Soul gets that south position with that Ripper, it's going to be really annoying for that yeah. team. Gift should be able to, or one of them should be able to help him eventually come down that south position. That's the ideal scenario. I think both teams know this is a big battle. This this could be this keeps Warhawks either in the game or ATW takes such a lead that I don't think they come back in ten minutes. Ooh, Rio. Rio got a kill. Broke the battle open. Gets it on Eric. Legacy doing legacy things. Absolutely. That law could be really good. Yep. Ooh. Just oh, cut Mecha, backs. real low. Sob's getting in to save Colossal here. Trying to distract Mecha. from Mecha so Mecha he can hopefully get, make an escape. Kind of survive, it looks yep. like, yeah. Mecha yep, gets it to iron. iron. They've got a nice split here. Let's see if this team of three Whoa. can handle their team of three. This, this is going to be bad, actually. Oh, no, the south Mecha team, Mecha. Soul gets, Soul absolutely wrecks there. He was 0-2 to start. I don't think he is now. Yeah, I'm going to check that here in a second now because I'm kind of curious. Yeah, I'm actually going to do a breakdown right now. Well, Soul's 1-3 and three right now, but... I guess that was his first kill. Just felt like he's been involved in more. Oh, Ernie goes down. Just no medic for him to help on the side. Gift and Kaga teaming up. Staley and Staley's fighting iron over here. Just a medic v medic. <laughs> medic duel. And it ends in a stalemate as it probably should. Oh, look at that, though. 27-23. ATW <laughs> do a good job of getting out, preserving those deaths. Four-kill game with 11 minutes to go. It's back to anybody's contest right now. So Warhawks have just had it. They've had a response every time. Yeah, I mean, it seems like HW is going to run away with the game for a second, and all of a sudden Warhawks just pushes their throat in. Like, it's it's crazy. And yet, while Soul is 1-3, to three, I really do think his bullets have been a big factor of the way that ATW have responded. Uh, yeah, it looks like Soul definitely has been an impact in the game. He has the highest assist points, 426. Thank you for checking that. That's exactly what I was thinking. It just feels like he's been involved in every battle pretty heavily. Oh, nice stream there from Fairfax. Ernie Looks pushing like on these bottom guys. Warhawks, Warhawks has it. Iron. Oh, yep. Leak takes a lot of shots. Sov now. Kaga just oh, murdering nice. down there. Oh, man. Nice. Warhawks just took the lead. Kaga just LMG'd. And Colossal goes down too. Do we have a... Warhawks take the lead 29-27 to 27 with 10 minutes to go. This is, oh, and Warhawks turn back. Is it time to turtle for them, or are they going to just keep going? Because I do think, I think they're firmly in the driver's seat of this game right now. I don't think turtling works well for Warhawks, though. No, like, I don't. It's just not their gameplay. It's right? just, like, they've done so good just doing the push, and when they turtled the first play, they got ran over. Just kind of, that's what you expect to see, especially when you got a ripper on the field. But you're right, I don't think it necessarily plays to their... Stop. Yeah, Warhawks are staying engaged on this. It looks still, yep. they're still there. Oh, never mind. We're backing away. Yeah, uh, I mean, play it passive. I mean, pick your battles. Warhawks is, I mean, if you have the luxury of picking your battles, pick good ones. <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> Since I'm shaking in real life. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Soul hasn't had the kills, but he has been involved like in every play. He's made, he's at very least made a W think about it, right? And you got to commend yeah, Gift. Has. Gift has put his guys in really yeah. good positions to like win battles. This is something that we don't typically see in the world of Saab. You know, we're, it's his world, we're all just living in it. <laughs> I 
Oh, oh here not. comes Warhawks on the south team. Colossal and Iron. Oh, Iron is in trouble. Iron is down. Colossal's going next, I think. Yeah, Soul went down on the left side there. Oh, they got a duel here. Ooh, a lot. That was a great law. God, Bezo's down. God yep. Mecha goes down. They got so them. They got them off, man. yeah. He's got to turn on that. Oh, team, my you know? word. Guys, Unbelievable. I think we're going to see it. This might be the first match that Mecha loses, maybe, with Sop. Yeah, he was, what, 26 and 0. Just talking about the other day. Should have <laughs> knocked on wood harder. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, awesome? maybe, maybe a little too early to count those chickens, but we shall see. It feels good right now. Kaga is Kaga is in Ooh, some kind of form right now. Got him, got him both. Oh, Look man, at this. Kaga. Look Ooh, at Kaga go right now. Shot. <laughs> Ooh. I don't. I don't I, think he missed a single shot in that clip. Man. I've been saying, I thought, I mean, I said at the very beginning of the season, I, we were talking about special classes and who was going to excel. And I'm telling you, when Kaga is feeling like this, I don't know that anybody in the game is taking him out. He's just, he's very, very strong. And like you said, he's not missing. That was, he's 12 and 3 right now. That's that's crazy. I mean, 12 and 3 I, against ATW. Go, yeah, exactly. I was going to say, you don't see a lot of squads get 12 kills against ATW. Uh, yeah, I wonder if the screeches are going on in the other in the, the ATW Discord. Um, <laughs> a lot of trolls being thrown around, you know. I'm not sure if there's been a particular point of weakness. I split or Bowen, if you guys want to comment, is there any one person on ATW's roster who you think is playing below par? I mean, Leak has most deaths right now, but a lot of it's been. I mean, I he's died with the he's team, right? Position. Right. Like he's yeah, been I'd say to the Leak right now is just not playing in his full form, but overall, I wouldn't say that he's like causing this loss though. Either way, this is a pissed off push by ATW here. Look at this on the left side. See, like this, like this position right now is not obviously ideal, but they can still turn it around if they get this left position. Uh, did Eric switch to Marine from a from AT? Yeah, he did. So maybe they're just trying to bring out the additional firepower. I think ATW is more is more. Yeah. The spread is working for Warhawk's favor right now. Yeah, Cog is in a good spot too. Yeah. He has that south position health. And now with the Ripper there, they can't push anymore automatically. The Ripper really does affect them, it appears. It does. It's yeah. really scary. And also, the thing that Soul does is he's looking like he just did. He's looking so far away. Um. That those Ripper bullets travel, and you got some distance. Now, south, south again. He's gonna stop the push. Look, yeah, he just stopped the push on the yep. left. Sav and the ESO and 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 Eric just can't. Especially when you got your medic just holding. Oh, Mecha's trying back. to trying to get in on his back. Moments left. Oh, this is a so crazy, oh, crazy God. battle. <laughs> wow! Already goes down. That'll be the break open for the battle. Soul's gonna try and hold them all by himself. Eric goes oh, down. Switch. Down. Oh no! Yeah, that's a white. Uh, 38, 30. Let's we'll see. 36. 36. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Can't lead. This next can... battle is going to decide this game. Four minutes and thirty seconds. I'm I'm with uh, Mercy right now. I am shaking IRL. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, so far the match of the week. Yeah, this has been match of the season. This is crazy to watch, honestly. <laughs> Booty glitcher. <laughs> Wrong means the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. yeah, I mean, so interestingly enough, like ESO is 0 and 5. Um and uh I think Ernie is 0 and 5 as well. So, well I mean, very interesting. The kind of performances you wouldn't be expected to see from those guys, but I mean they've been involved in the fights. Ernie has been involved in everything. I think his uh cross streams have been a big part of what's what's won some of these battles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Iso did get two there. Okay. 
But yeah, I mean, still, like, crazy. Warhawks are not in the best position. Neither are ATW, though, and everybody just says no to that. Warhawks pushing right. Looks like they're going to go turtle in mid, maybe? Yeah, I think Gift is calling the turtle in mid. This is what they did against uh, CS, I think. Well, especially with Soul as the Ripper. Like, it just adds a whole new complexity to... Okay, they're they're going back out. That is... Well, I mean, ATW is not there, but that is, I hate going through that channel. Oh, this might be good if they don't show themselves. Yeah. And they are... Oh, they don't see them oh, yet. Oh, man. my word. Each other. That yes. was a good pull. Oh, 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 they're getting no, pinched from the north. Oh. Soul Geeks. Oh, that is the death you didn't want to. They got to... They've got to know the South group is under undernumbered. They've got to know it. Yeah, you got to yeah, get out. Pushing iron hard. So iron needs to be focused out. He is colossal next. Uh, yeah, Warhawks clearly have the advantage right now and started off with a first loss. And Soul also is going to respawn right behind these guys. Yeah, true. Oh, but gift a aggressive. Gift uh, can't survive. Goes down to Mecca. A really right good push from the right side. Yep. Eso down. Can Staley hold off the left side by himself? Leak down. Leak down. Staley's like, somebody save me. <laughs> <laughs> he got healed by the other medic, actually. So that's Ernie. Amazing. Ernie gets involved here. There it is. Eric down. Colossals. Oh my word! Warhawks a minute thirty-one. That's it. Forty-six to thirty-eight. That will, as Splitta says, spell the end of the game. I'm sure now. What a good game this has been. I think Mecha might have jinxed, jinxed himself. Uh, this is this is amazing. I love I love this. I love the fact that we have more of a spread in the league now. This is why we play the games, as we said last season. Um, you know, I, I, I said since the beginning of the season, I thought this game would be a lot closer than other people were saying, um, you know, people were doubting Warhawks and whether or not their roster could show. We'd like to point out as Bowen pointed out earlier, soul is here tonight as is Kaga. They're both in the roster and actually playing. Both were able to put down their other games for a chance to put down Sav and his minions. <laughs> Soul's game scored. It looks horrible, but as we saw He's still being very effective, even though I am noticing that uh, he's not getting as much assist points. I'm still seeing him, obviously. Yeah, the cause bullets problems. make you move, and yeah. if you've got to move, yeah. things things happen with move. Your oh, leak! That was not the play, buddy. But that's okay. Yep. I mean, oh, I'm not gonna sure you would have changed anything about this. Leak yeah, down. gift goes yeah, down they, though. They don't really have the options in time. Oh, Legacy just holding on him on his own there against Mecha. Stav. Three seconds, but man, that, that's great. Stav get the heal. Oh, yep, there it goes. Wow, 15-4 and four for Kaga. 48-41, to 41, a final score for Warhawks. What an impressive game that was. Um, wow. I don't know. I, I'm I'm left a little bit speechless. Kaga MVP, yeah, perfect. That's yeah, definitely deserved totally that. I deserved. definitely think Kaga. Although I, I mean, I think there's an argument to be made that Soul was your MVP of that game, to a certain degree. I think there's an argument to be made for a few people. Gift, great leadership. Um, I mean, as I said, I think Ernie did way more than the stat line's going to show. Uh, Sav with uh, most heals forty one sixteen. Iron was second. That just shows. I think. I think. I think ATW just took more hits in the whole game. They did. Um, stab. Absolutely. Stab and Staley. Staley's not even on the on the top four there. Stab with twenty seven fifty five. And I think that spells the the game in itself. They're just Warhawks needed less heals. And we got gift here, by the way. Uh, gift. I don't know what to say, brother. Uh, congratulations on a win. What a game. What are your thoughts? Well, actually, let me. I uh, maybe should unmute you first. That'd be a, a solid play. <laughs> I was about to do it. Too. How, how about that? Can you hear me now, buddy? Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, I'm I'm a little uh, speechless. Will you just tell me Congrats. your thoughts? 
Uh, it kind of went how we expected it to. I mean, no one gave us a chance, but lineups are very similar. Yeah. So, in a straight-up yeah. fight, I wasn't, like, scared to fight him by any means. We weren't going to camp or anything, so. Yeah, they took that 3-0 win, uh, or the 3-0 uh, lead in the very beginning, and uh, Yosh with a big flank on you guys early, and it looked like things were going ATW's way, and it was, the, the said thing I said to Bowen at the time was, let's see how Warhawks responded, and you guys responded really strong with some really good pushes on that South teams. Uh, South is king is a mantra that's been said a lot this week. Um, what, you guys took it to the rocks a lot. Was that a conscious decision on your part to, to play down there? Yeah, I believe on this map, the left side is easier to get the south side. Mm -hmm. And once we got a few kills and got to their side of the map by J6, it was just easier to keep them boxed in there. We did an excellent job at mid to like 2v wanting some people and winning those battles in mid so we could stay south. Mm -hmm. uh, Kaga, 15 and 4 today. The man played like a god. I know God was on the other squad, but honestly, I think he was on your <laughs> roster tonight. Um, what do you have to say about that man? Yeah, Cog has been extremely active. He wants to win, plays to win. So, no, he's he's an incredible player, and he shows out every match for us. No one's ruder than you tonight, Kaga. That's for sure. Um, I, I noticed that, you know, Soul as a ripper was an interesting choice. You know, he's played a lot of it in the preseason and in the early weeks, but we didn't know what kind of... Um, you know, classes you were going to play today against ATW. It's a different game versus ATW, as everybody knows. Uh, do you think that, you know, Soul didn't show up on the on the scoreboard so much, but we noticed the impact he was having on the field. Did you guys feel that the same? So we weren't too sure about using a Ripper, and especially since they decided not to. And we all know soft squads are super mobile, so we were kind of worried. But once they had an AT as well, I think AT is kind of useless on this map. So we felt fine using a Ripper. He he definitely influenced battles in terms of he made people make decisions that I think they otherwise would not have made. Um, and he held solo he solo countered flanks from Saab, which was a yeah. huge huge factor in you guys having the time you needed to sew up the other side. Uh, Gift, I think you outled Saab today. What what do you say to that? Uh, Sav's the best leader in the game. I would never claim to outlead him. We just, we played very well cohesively, especially after that first battle. Like we sat way too long. They flanked us. It was a great play by them. And then just as a team, we played pretty well. Focus Fire was very good tonight and took some battles. Well, forty-eight to forty-one, Warhawks take the first game of the season against anything to win and claim the top spot in the in the the, the standing so congratulations to warhawks uh and to you gift great game got man fantastic thank you no problem at all um well we're gonna go ahead and end this game early because we Bo and i gotta get to one um so uh <laughs> yeah um let me that will conclude our broadcast uh, of Warhawks versus Anything to Win from week three of season 23 in the Unified Skirmish League. We want to invite you to join the fight by downloading the game on Steam. Just search Free Infantry or visit FreeInfantry.com. To find out more about the Unified Skirmish League, please visit USLZone.com. I want to thank you to my co-hosts, Bowen and Pinch Hitting with Split It. Thanks for joining us on the on the fly there, Split It. Uh, Thanks to our executive producer, Military Police. This has been Romulox, and you've been watching the Unified Skirmish League on USL Live.